It's hard to pick one assignment as being more interesting than the other one because I think at the level and the people I work with, these chefs, uh, most of them are very, very talented and very interesting people to meet. But uh, to single out a few, the first uh, meeting with Andoni Luis Adritz at uh, Mugaritz outside San Sebastian was extraordinary. And also uh, Victor at the Chabari outside Bilbao. Two Spaniards, really, really, really exciting people. But at the time, meeting a very, very young, intense, and very upcoming Hess Blumenthal at Fat Duck it was very fascinating. I remember here in London, I went to photograph uh, Gordon Ramsay on Royal Hospital Road just when he opened this place of his own. And he was uh, very tense, very young, very talented, and wanted so much his three Michelin stars. And um, after being in his way twice, the third time, he looked at me and he said, PA, now it's the third time you're in my way. Now get the fuck out of the kitchen and fucking throw you out. I went away. In the uh, old world, Europe, I would say people like René Redzepi at Noma. I would say Inaki at Chateaubriand. I would say Peter Nielsen at Cassetta. Truly, truly great creative chefs, uh, but not only great chefs, also chefs with a great intellect and uh, people that can speak about their food and communicate to people what they want, not only on the plate. In Sweden there's one place I'd like to single out, well one or two places actually, uh, one place is Waxen. It's on a small island outside of Stockholm, one hour outside of Stockholm. You have to go there by train or by car, and then you take a small ferry to this very small island, like a treasure island almost. And uh, the chef Magnus, he cooks from mainly from local produce on this very small island, and he's been doing this for 15 years. Really, really interesting and unique. Let's speak about Paris and uh, Paris restaurants. Um, let me mention a few that I really like. The newest restaurant I really do like is called Reno. It's in Rue Trousseau and it's by uh, Peter Nilsson at Cassetta. He's sous chef Giovanni. And it's um, Italian but in a very, very unfamiliar um, way to many people. I think it's a very intelligent Italian. And then, of course, mentioning Peter Nilsson, I would highly recommend Peter Nilsson's Gazzetta. In the Rue du Cotte. Fantastic. To me, it's fantastic fusion between Scandinavian ideas and French produce. And, um, of course, then I would like to mention Chateaubriand. Inaki's favorite place. And what I heard, they're opening a new place down the street. 
and that would be probably be quite good as well. Uh, apart from that, I have quite a few places I really would like to go to. It's Yamcha. Frenchy. But um, they are there to be discovered. Thank you.